What's up guys and welcome back to SnowRunner. Today it's time for a little bit of change. We are going to be swapping out our go-to vehicle. It's time to go out with the old and in with the new. This is the Royal BM17 and uh, I'm excited to see how she performs. I, I think this is going to be a, a welcome new addition to our stable. So if we take a look at our uh, at our, our trucks here just to kind of see how they compare, you guys could see the International Paystar has been our go-to, has been our jack of all trades so far and uh, it's not bad. Cost $83,000, A, A minus, B, and then a, a 240 fuel capacity. If we go over to the BM17, it's significantly more expensive. It's got an A plus power to weight ratio, a B plus durability. So you lose a little bit of durability, but you also gain in fuel consumption as well as fuel capacity. So it's more powerful. It's got better consumption and a higher capacity for a very small reduction in durability. I think this thing's going to be pretty solid. Now, the only other thing I kind of want to mention, as you guys can see, for diff lock, there is no differential lock on the BM17, whereas we have a switchable one on the Paystar. So it'll be interesting to see how that works out. Obviously, for the really tough areas, the diff lock's important. However, we can probably make up for that with the increased power. And uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. We're not going to sell off our Paystar yet, but we are going to focus on the BM17 today. So let's get into some customization here. Looks like we do have, ooh, a fine-tuned version of a popular engine. Excellent reliability and power at the cost of even lower fuel efficiency. Interesting. So this is going to take our, our fuel consumption down, but it's going to give us a, a lot of extra power and durability. I actually, I, I, I think I might try that out. Gearbox, looks like we can go to a high range gearbox or the off-road gearbox. It is going to hurt our fuel consumption a bit more, but it's going to give us those extra lower gears. So, I mean... I'm thinking maybe maybe we try that. At the same time, we don't have a diff lock, but we're we're gonna go for it. That's that's usually pretty useful. Suspension, we do not have the raised suspension yet. Obviously, that's gonna be a, a big one for us. Right now, our stock tires have excellent average and then poor. Obviously, we're gonna want something that uh, that does a little bit better than that. What is our best option gonna be? I'm thinking probably one of these three. Looks like these are all the same. Which one looks the best? I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. Let's just go with the cheap one. So we're gonna have average on-road, excellent off-road, and good mud. Next up, we've got our winch, extended medium. I mean, $11,000, should we do it? I guess, let's let's go for it. We're really gonna put some money into this thing. Like I said, I, I, I think it's gonna be pretty solid. Frame add-ons, it looks like we can do a flatbed. Can we also do, it looks like we can do the loading crane at the same time. Shoot, this is gonna be kind of expensive. You know what? I said I wasn't gonna do it. I feel bad about it. She had to go, dude. She, oh, I'm sorry, she had to go. We're gonna make a, a money off of that. I mean, it, we get everything back that we put into it the exact same amount, so if we wanna rebuy her, we can. But I, I just, I, I, I wanna have a little extra money in the bank, and I think, I don't know if it sells those parts or if we're gonna be able to apply them now. Um, okay, interesting. So it, it doesn't necessarily sell the parts, but we do get some of them back. So I'm gonna use this, and then I'm gonna say let's let's get the loading crane as well. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be really useful. All right, so we got the sideboard bed, the loading crane, snorkel. We're gonna go ahead and put a, a wedge cap snorkel on there, be able to get through the, uh, the the deep water. Exhaust. We could do a wedge cap exhaust. I mean that's pretty cool, but I don't know if it's worth 1,100 bucks. It is actually pretty dope. I'm going to go for it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, air conditioner goes stop. Oh, these are kind of cool. Double tall beacons, cabin protector, chrome parking lights, the horns, fog lights, beacons and fog lights. I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking we go with the double tall beacons for 600 bucks. That looks pretty cool. Front bumper, we can go with the handlebars. I mean, stop. Yeah, let's let's do it. 600 bucks. Those look pretty cool. Front side, we can go with the, uh, the the chrome cap with the beacons. Why not? And then rims. Looks like we have a uh, a ton of rim options here. I kind of like. I mean, the stock ones are bad. I kind of like these though. I'm gonna go with the MD rims too. And finally, for our color combos, you guys know I like the two tones. So we have uh, a white with with the yellow. We've got a blue and white. We've got green, white, and yellow. Okay, some really, really interesting ones. I kind of like the white with the yellow, I think. That's that's pretty low-key. That's pretty clean. I'm, I'm going to go with that. All right. There is our brand new Royal BM17. 
This thing's supposed to be a beast. We just sold our pay star for it. I really hope that it is. And uh, we're, we're gonna get this thing out on the road. I've already picked out a couple of missions we're gonna have to do. The first one we're doing here is called Mountain Maze. We need to get wooden planks as well as two fuel. And we're gonna take that up to the, uh, the polar base over at Mountain River. So this is gonna be a pretty easy one. You know, just kind of get our feet wet. We're mainly gonna be staying on the road and that sort of thing. So uh, I guess, uh, I guess let's get into it. So far, this thing's impressing me, though. We don't even have all-wheel drive on, and we we are just cruising, bro. Let me let me flip flop all-wheel drive on there. Oh wow. Okay. So I'm gonna be honest. The Paystar did kind of struggle through this area a little bit, especially up when we get closer to the the lumber mill. When you get close to the, the loading platform, it gets a little bit deeper. Dude, this thing is cruising. It's slowing down a little bit through the deep mud here, but it's it's definitely doing better than the, the pace tar ever did. All right, so we want uh, we want one set of wooden planks, and uh, we're we're gonna be good to go. Try to back on out of here. Even a reverse works a bit better. Going back forward here. <laughs> Dude, this thing cruises. We can even put it in low and low high. I mean, that, honestly, if anything, might slow us down a little bit. I don't think this stuff is, is deep enough to need it. So we're just, we're gonna stay in automatic and we're gonna get this done. I'm sure you guys remember our, our little, little trick we did at the end of the last episode with the fuel. I think we may end up trying that here. No trailer, no problem. We're gonna make our own trailer and double stack our, uh, double stack our equipment. If you want me to be real, I feel like this thing looks way better than the Paystar ever did. Like this, oh shoot, we gotta take a right here. The Paystar was, was not the prettiest face. You can definitely see aging on it and stuff. This thing has a very cool, very military inspired, you know, kinda, kinda look to it. I like it a lot. I feel like she do be kinda flying though. Like she, she's got, she's got some, some wheels under her. Oh gosh, okay, hang in there, woo. I mean, it's it's gonna be up to me to be able to keep her on the road. That just took out half of our shocks right there, Trav. We we got we we got to be careful. We got to be a little bit a little bit more methodical than that. But I do feel like this thing definitely goes a bit faster and has a bit better uh, better handling than the Paystar did. So let me go ahead and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna refuel her up, and then we're gonna have to do a bit of a. Uh, Bit of a cargo musical chairs to be able to get all of this stuff in. So we're gonna activate the anchor. We're gonna go into crane mode. We're gonna have to uh, have to unpack our cargo. I forget that every time. Back into crane mode. Let's pick this stuff up. We're gonna lift it out of our uh, lift it out of our our trailer here. Go ahead and drop it off. Two things of fuel, just like that. Then we're gonna have to, uh, I think, oh yeah, we gotta activate the anchor again. Definitely don't wanna wanna mess that up. Don't wanna end up flipping over. Gonna be able to grab this. And let's try to methodically place this up on top. We had a couple of, of scary close calls yesterday, but we were able to get it done pretty efficiently. And, and hopefully the same will be able to be set about today. Definitely wanna take our time and make sure that it's lined up nicely though that looks that looks good to me all right let's go ahead and restore the crane and I think uh, I think we're good to go okay so we're just gonna have to be smart about this got to take corners slow can't be running into anything but we should be able to make it to our destination and we should be able to just uh, you know make this a, a one a one trip deal I do like that that big old intake over there dude looking like a gopher or something just sticking up peeking out that's my little buddy we hanging in there yep the wood's still on top that stuff should be pretty heavy it's gonna take quite a uh quite a few g-forces to be able to move that so as long as we're not driving crazy then we should be all right looks like we've got this tan interior i mean this this definitely looks nicer and it looks a little a little newer than some of our other trucks so i i, I think it's a definite upgrade Again, like I said, I, I think it's cool that all the trucks have their own personality and they have certain specific uses. I am a little bit worried because we're going to have to go through a tunnel. If we go through the tunnel, are our, our logs still going to be on top of our truck or is it is it not going to count that? Or like, how is that going to work? I have no idea, but we're going to find out here pretty soon. Once we get to the other side of the tunnel, if they're still there, we'll definitely readjust them. Get a bit, uh, bit better angle for them. 
We want to take a right here. Nope, we want to go straight across the bridge. One thing I do like is this thing, like you can you can definitely tell that it's it's got a lot of power behind it. There she goes. That's fine. Not the end of the world. We're gonna be able to work this out. Kind of expected it. That's the price you pay when you're being a little bit hasty. We're gonna activate our anchor. We're gonna enter our crane mode. We're gonna swing this thing on around and we're gonna put it right back up top. No harm, no foul, baby. Here we go. To Mountain River we go to our next objective, and I'm hoping when we spawn in here, this wood is still gonna be on top. Oh, come on. We're gonna have to go back and get more fuel. Oh, we can pick up fuel right here, let's go! <laughs> Bro, that's what I'm talking about. Interesting, so that's something to keep in mind. I would have thought the wood would have been left behind and we would have been, would have been saving our, our normal cargo, but it swapped it out on us. Not a worry in the world here. We're gonna be able to bring this right back up. Go ahead and uh, and and throw it on there just like so. Ooh, that was actually a, a pretty good toss there, Trav. We could probably get it a, a bit more, a bit more centered though. Maybe a bit more than that. Come on, girl. Oh, that's a little bit too far. She's very finicky. Whew, there it is. All right, I'm feeling pretty confident about that. Let's go ahead and uh, and restore our crane. And it's almost like nothing ever happened. Now we're going to be able to just get out of here. We have a, a straight shot around. And that is where we're delivering it. This part of the road is is, is a bit muddy. But it's, it's nothing too intense. Like I said, I've, I've got three objectives in mind already picked out for us today. This is, uh, this is definitely the easiest of the three. So hopefully that holds true and hopefully we have no issues. Got a little detour here. Just gonna go on around. We could throw on some all-wheel drive just in case. Don't know that we'll really need it. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm excited to see this thing in deep snow. I, I've got a feeling deep snow is, is gonna be a, a bit of a specialty. Dude, there's gas everywhere over here. It's the second gas station that we've passed. And this, this is just normal, normal two-wheel drive, and we are flying up this icy hill that we've been skidding and sliding all over the place in the past. I'm curious to see how it how it does going downhill as well. This can usually be fairly sketchy. Might wanna throw her into low, just kinda slow it down a bit. Oh yeah, dude. Look at that. Slow, methodical, thoughtful, intelligent. This is what you love to see right here. Gonna take this corner. This is probably gonna be the uh, the toughest section. It's definitely gonna be the toughest section that this truck has seen yet. But I think she's gonna be able to pass with flying colors, dude. Look, you see when we switch it into auto, she just she has so much get up and go. Going up this hill, have way more of a load than we we typically should. No problem. I want to. I'm I'm curious. Let me see if we can go straight through this mud. I'm going straight through it. We have struggled with this mud a ton. We can go straight through it. Ah. Got bogged down a little bit here. Let me see, maybe low, we're gonna be able to make it through. Interesting, okay. I mean, it's, okay, it, it's not perfect. It's not flawless. No truck is. Having a differential lock would be, would be clutch for stuff like this like the, I'm surprised at the fact that it doesn't have one I don't know what to make of it I feel like for average everyday stuff this thing's better but I feel like for like hauling trailers and potentially going through deep stuff the paystar might be the choice I think we might have to keep both of these uh both of these chickens in the coop fellas I think they both serve a purpose so here we go at the campground, let me go ahead and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop off. Oh what? It says we only have one thing of barrels here. Why does it say we only have one thing of barrels? Oh now it's now it says we have both. Okay, wood barrels. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, crane. I don't need you. Go ahead and restore. Look at that. Level 11, boys. Love to see it. Let's uh let's let's go ahead and recover. I'm gonna go back uh back to base and we are gonna pick up the supplies for uh 
for run number two. Village delivery. This one's urgent. Priority one. Miss Jackson, our district manager, has a contract with the Mountain Settlement to deliver a shipment of consumables right away. He's probably making a fortune off them. Wouldn't want to lose that customer. This is going to be worth 460 stars and 3,500 bucks. Decent payday there. We need to bring two cement and two consumables over there. So this one's going to be fairly easy. I was thinking for the cement, we should try taking the road less traveled and just kind of see how this thing performs. So let's, uh, let's, let's start with the consumables. We're going to grab these first. They're just outside of our, uh, of our home base. And, uh, I guess, I guess we're going to have to make this in two trips. You guys know I'm kind of a one trip guy. Then again, you guys know, like we, we've kind of learned in this game, there are times where we're trying to do everything in one trip and trying to make it through sketchy areas with a trailer and stuff like that just isn't worth it. It's better to just do it in two and do it quickly. And I, I think that might be a little bit more, a uh, little bit more tailored for this vehicle. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to grab consumables. We need two of those and we are going to have to head back across the map, back over to our uh, our same tunnel we just went through before. This is kind of cool. So the airport, I guess airplanes are coming in, dropping off food for the people up here in Alaska. You love to see that. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. But um, yeah, this should be a uh, this should be a fairly a fairly simple drive at least until we get to uh, to the uh, the mountain river section. So time lapse commence. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. We weren't quite completely over, so technically we didn't stall. And, hold on for it, we're gonna activate our anchor. We got a crane, biatch, let's go. We're gonna be able to fix this. This is, this is, this is a non-issue right now. Go ahead and grab that. Oop, can we connect to it? Yeah, grab it. Bring it up here. Let's, uh... Let's let's throw throw this guy right in there. Kobe. Uh stop, 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 stop. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. There it is. Alright. Can we can we just pack this up? Pack cargo. <laughs> like a boss, baby. Oh my goodness. We took a tiny bit of engine damage. But we just rolled over, brought ourselves back, because we weren't quite. I think at 90 degrees is, is when it when it shuts off, or maybe it's a little bit more, maybe like 120 or something. Not quite far enough over to stall the engine, and uh, man, oh man, we, we are just gonna keep on moving. Ya boy, don't stop. That's one of those things, dude. You, you can't get complacent in this game. Every time I get complacent and start feeling good about myself and start feeling confident, it just sets you right back at, at ground zero. Luckily, we were saved there. So this one's going to be kind of interesting. The reason why I chose it is because we're going to be going up here. You guys remember we got our Cat 745C over here. So this is a, uh, I mean, not not the most difficult, but it's, it's a fairly intense off-road section, especially with cargo. So I feel like this is gonna be... Oh my God. Oh. Your boy's reaction time though, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, <laughs> we just saved another disaster right there. Man, I always thought the Paystar was tippy. I think, honestly, if I think if we put the Paystar in the same, the same situations, it'd be about the same. They seem to be about the same height and stuff, but um, anyway, um, yeah, this this is just going to kind of test the off-road capability a bit. It's it's not the most intense segment. You know, the, we we went through this a few times with the pay star with no problems. So I just I wanted to wanted to kind of put it through its paces a little bit. I don't know, man. It's it's tough. You know, I I really want to I want to like this thing. I. I I, so far, it seems like they're they're fairly evenly matched. It's just the the Paystar has the ability to tow, and it's got a diff lock, and this thing is just better all around. Is is kind of kind of the focus. This is where we're dropping stuff off, right? There's no big drop off icon. All right, can we drop this off? What the heck? Oh, our cargo was unpacked because we rolled over nearly twice. We had to pack it. 
And now I think I think we're gonna be able to deliver it. Beautiful. I went ahead and, and fast traveled back just to get. Uh, I mean, we were good on gas, but we filled up all the way, and then we had a couple of rollovers there. So I wanted to make sure that uh, make sure that we we you know had all of our suspension and engine and everything all good to go. We're gonna go pick up some uh, some cement from the factory over here. Gonna take this uh, take this little little shortcut. This is one of my favorites. It is fairly sketchy, but it definitely cuts down a lot on the time. Feel like this um, this section of the map is just there's there's you know a lot of a lot of road that you don't necessarily need. Feel like we spent a lot of time going around things and and stuff. So you got to be able to find these shortcuts and get them done. Let me see if I can really take a shortcut here. Oh yeah. Oh look at that. See, like, that power is unmatched, baby. I think the Paystar could have done it, but definitely couldn't do it as well. We are flying right now, which, to be honest, sometimes isn't isn't the best thing for us, Trev. Sometimes you want to keep it a little more under control. But look at that, dude. Just absolutely crushed it. Ooh. That rock didn't like us, though. Random rocks in the road, big truck, negative one to suspension every single time. All right, so we're gonna throw in uh, we're gonna throw in cement, two things of cement. So we're gonna go around. We're probably gonna want to go down to this, and we're gonna go all the way out and around, just to uh, to kind of get a, a change of pace. We haven't done this route since we first came up here, and we did it with the scout. So I remember it was pretty intense, and I'm curious. I want I want to put this thing through the ringer and see just how uh, just how off road capable she is. We're gonna stay to the left here, kind of work our way along the coastline. Dude, this thing is a beast! Absolute monster. Gotta be careful here. Don't wanna go tipping it. That's a lot of weight in our back end that's shaking back and forth. Gotta be smart about it. Gotta have our quick reactions ready. I still, I can't believe I caught it that quick, dude. Can't believe there was a tree right there to save us. It was absolutely perfect. Be going down into first gear here so she is she is being tested her pace is being tested a bit dude it's just this is such a good looking truck I, I really like the the shape and front end of it I just feel like it looks it, it looks so much more powerful first of all and then second of all it just it looks newer one complaint about the Paystar, it's got a very old face to it. Definitely posing a bit more of a challenge, but we also haven't really struggled yet. It's it's just kind of a slow and steady wins the race type of deal. Kind of scraped the, the edge of the rock there a little bit, took a little bit of engine damage. Are we going to be able to make it up this? Looks like we are. I think we're going to want to take a left. This, oh gosh, this is kind of an ugly corner here. Let's be smart. Want to hit this hit this head on so we don't uh, don't go rolling. Let's see if we can get through here. Come on, girl. Might want to put this into low. Ooh, ooh. We have a tree over here. We might be able to get out. This is a pretty nasty section, though. The, the problem is, is it's so short. We can't really get good good traction there. This corner a bit wide watch out for that rock kind of get a bit of a bird's eye view make sure we don't don't miss anything here got to be careful I don't like it when we have these slight slight slopes down into the water where if you hit a, a rock at a weird angle or something you're gonna end up tumbling in come on baby Just be smart about this keep all four tires planted Take your time. Ooh, we're listing to the side a bit. We're good. There was no reason for us to take this route, just so you guys know. We, oh, oh, darling. Oh, darling, hang in there. We're good. But yeah, we, we totally, we could have taken the same, the same route that we did the first time and stayed on paved roads. I'm trying to think of what we're going to do next. I think next episode, I'm, I'm tempted to either go to Pedro Bay, which is the last spot in Alaska, or go to Russia. I'm excited to go to Russia, but I kind of feel like maybe we should finish out Pedro Bay 
Maybe try to get the, the Hummer lift kit and then use the Hummer as a scout truck to be able to, to go explore Russia. I just feel like not not doing, not finishing Alaska before moving on could be potentially a mistake, but at the same time, we can always go back later. We can go to, go to Russia, get some new trucks, and then return with better equipment at some point. But uh, all right, we'll take it. It was sketchy. It was definitely not a shortcut. But we saw some, some pretty impressive feats out of this thing on that uh, that little back road. So now we're going to head to uh, head to Mountain River. We're going to go right back up that same little trail, deliver this stuff, and um, I guess I'll see you guys back at the garage to take on our third and final mission. This one is going to be a doozy. Shape-shifted a little bit here. We took off our, uh, our sideboard trailer, and now we've got our saddle high. We are going to be... Uh, we're gonna be doing some heavy lifting here. I want to see. Uh, I want to see how this thing performs with a big old semi trailer on the back of it, which is exactly what we're gonna be doing here. Okay, a little bit of drifting. I mean, small tree isn't gonna get in our way. We're gonna be able to take that thing down. So, this mission is uh, the the drill rig disassembly. Our objective is gonna to be to uh, to get the the salvage semi trailer over here and deliver it to uh, to Northport, which we haven't been back to Northport in a while. Figured it'd be kind of a kind of a cool little way to take a step back in time, check out the first area we unlocked in Alaska, and uh, also kind of keep keep testing this thing's cojones, baby. It's exact. Oh shoot, this is a big boy. Okay, well I'm I'm even more excited for this. I love these big crazy missions, dude. This this is gonna be insane. All right, so we're gonna get this thing turned around. And uh, it's time to find out exactly how much of a beast this thing is. I mean, I, I feel like it's definitely manhandled everything we've thrown at it so far. But this may be a, uh, a different ball game. One other thing I did is I, I took off our, our gearbox, our special off-road gearbox we had. I went back to the normal one, so we're going to have a, a, bit better, a bit better fuel economy. And we got rid of our, our low gears. We don't have a low plus and minus anymore. I just, I, I feel like we weren't really using it, especially without a diff lock. It just, I, to me, it doesn't, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So we're going to see what we can do with this thing here. So we want to go out, take a left, and then we're going to want to go across and go back over here. Sounds good to me, man. Let's, let's get after it. We're just in, in regular two wheel drive right now. And it's, uh, it's handling, handling pretty well. Don't even need the four wheel drive, the all wheel drive. We're gonna go out here. We're gonna to want to take a nice wide turn. Probably could have set this up a little bit better if you want me to be honest. Oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah. We, we definitely, definitely caught it. The, the corner before it, we took on the inside, and that's that's just not gonna do us any favors here. So what we're gonna to want to do is we're gonna to want to go out here and really take this thing wide. Come on, let's go, girl. I'm gonna throw all-wheel drive on. Oh yeah, that is how we handle it, baby. It's crazy, dude. When you've got trailers this big, you kind of like your your the corner before the next corner is the one that sets you up for it. You can't react late. You gotta have everything pre-planned in your head way ahead of time. Gonna try to take this wide so we don't cut those trees too much. I'm gonna I'm gonna get in the first person view. I feel like this is a good move. Got a stick floating in the air right there. Magic. It's kind of hard to see over the trailer in third person view. It's so big. Oh my goodness. We're good. Ooh, Trev. We, we, okay. Brother, we, we cannot lose our momentum. You pause for a minute. We started getting sideways on this ice. Whew. Looks like we may have got it back. Oh man, that could have been bad. We could have gone sliding back down that hill. Just gotta keep it up. We're up into fourth gear, starting to build up a bit of speed. Problem is this ice starts to send us sideways, so we can't really com completely power through it. It puts us in a, uh, a pretty bad position. Come on. Shoot. Okay. We didn't really take this corner wide enough, I don't think. Whew. We're good. Take it wider. Get all the way up against the guardrail. Come on. 
dude, it is sliding all I'm I'm struggling. If this was plain asphalt, we'd be fine. But I'm I'm struggling with the sliding. We want to hit this this telephone pole over here. Come on. Or maybe is there a tree over here we can get? What about that big that that one? Yes. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I think we made it. Oh, look at this hill, dude. What do you want me to do? Just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. We're good. Tires are rubbing a bit back here, but we're going to be fine. Come on, girl. No. Pull me. What are we stuck on? We just... We can't get over this crest. Dude, I, I think the trailer's beached underneath here. To be fair, this is a, a situation we've been in before, so we're just gonna try to uh, we're gonna try to learn from it. I don't know if this is a strategy that we would be able to use in real life, but it's something we're definitely gonna try employing here, and that's the good old good old shove. Ooh, that was not good for our suspension. Gonna see if we can get, just push this thing up on over. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Oh, it's going to get in kind of a bad spot. Are you going to roll? No, you're good. Okay. I, I think we made it past the bad part, but I don't want to get it stuck on this uh, on this guardrail, which it looks like we... Okay. okay. I'm not paying attention now. I'm looking at the trailer, not where we're going. We're taking all kinds of... All kinds of damage here, but we're gonna be fine. I think we're gonna have to get old girl back in here like this. Is is pretty much the only way we're gonna be able to get Oh 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 it's going! No, it's going! It's going! No, 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 no. We got it. We're back. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. I think it's gonna get stuck again, but we're just we're let's if we place it in the middle, let's get it away from the uh away from the guardrails. If we do our our push strat again, it should work just fine. Oh, baby, here we go. Are we good? I think we got it a little bit better lined up. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's 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 it. Can we leave it there? Is it going to roll backwards? No, she's not. Whew. We just had to get it nice and lined up, dude. We, we were, you know, try to, try to be quick about it. Sometimes you just got to be a bit smarter about it. Either way, it doesn't really matter because we were able to get it done. We used a, a bit of fuel in the process, but that's all right. So now what we're going to want to do is is not run into this thing and have it go flying back down the hill. Let's attach the trailer. We want to take this as wide as possible. And it looks like we made it, baby. I don't think there's another vehicle in our fleet that could have done that, dude. We just we pushed a drilling trailer up an icy mountain. Just, just pushed it like it was nothing. That was insanity, bro. And it, it took us a couple runs at it, and I, I kind of had to slow, slow it down. Oh, let's, let's go to low here. Let's try to slow this down. Don't want to ride the brakes, but definitely don't want to get going too fast. But yeah, we, we had to use quite a bit of gas because I didn't line it up perfectly the first time. But I mean, it, it's all try, trial and error, baby. You can't be, can't be mad at it. I want to make sure are we going the right way. Yeah, we are. Okay, so we're gonna want to take this one. Su oh, that hurts. Want to take that wide so we don't run into the telephone pole. Looks like we made it. Okay, we're good to go. Looks like this this is actually a gas station right here. So I I, I think we should probably do that. We're actually we're, we're pretty hurt in the tires right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and detach our our trailer. We're gonna grab some gas. I don't think there's anything we can do about our tires. We're just gonna hope they don't pop and, and hope we're gonna we're gonna be able to be a little bit safer throughout the rest of this. If we have to recover the truck, I mean that's that's my own fault. Blame the uh, blame the operator, not the vehicle. So we're gonna come back here. Let's re-grab this thing. I think we've got one bridge to go over, and then we're gonna be over in uh, over in our new stomping grounds. Go ahead and uh, attach the trailer. Whew. It's kind of an aggressive latch right there, and uh, here we go. All right. I say we get inside this, and let's just play it super smart. Let's take every corner super wide. Let's use low gear to go down hills. This one's not so bad, so I think we'll be fine with this. Actually, you know what? Let's just be smart. There's literally no reason not to. So we're going to take this right down like this. 
Make sure we take the corner extra wide to give us enough room. Stay along this very right hand side. It's gonna be a bit of a tight fit, but it looks like we did make it. All right, back into auto. Got enough vertical clearance on the bridge, we do. We're gonna be able to head on over to the tunnel to the north port, baby. It's been a while since we were over here. Probably want to try to keep a, a little bit of momentum here. We want to take it wide, but keep momentum so that we don't get stuck on the icy road. And it looks like we made it. Not without any issues, but we made it, baby. Whew. Dude, these big trailers give me give me next level heart attacks. There is there is no doubt about that. Here we go. Okay, trailer's still behind us, right? Yep. Looks like we want to uh, we want to bring this thing all the way down to the port. So this is the paved road. We're gonna have a paved road all the way there. We're just gonna wanna make sure we follow that paved road. So we're gonna go to this intersection and take a right, come down through here, and that's gonna take us exactly where we wanna go. It's gonna be a long journey. It's definitely not gonna be an easy one, but it's something that uh, I believe in us. I think we're gonna be able to do it. And I, oh, okay. I. I trust in our abilities. Maybe not so much my, my driving skill, but I, I trust in the abilities of our, our equipment, I guess I should say. It's a better way of putting it. This, I mean, to be, to be fair, this is a very tight section here. Oh Lord, how are we gonna get this thing around this corner? Just gotta keep it far to the right. And I hope for the best. I don't care if we damage our engine a bit. That's, the engine's the only thing with any HP left. Oh no. I think she's gonna need a little assistance. I think that corner was a, a bit too tight. As you guys can see, it's uh, it's it's not looking good. I'm a little bit worried about, about a, a possible tip here. It is kind of up on that ledge a bit. I don't, I, I don't think there's any way we could have made that if you want me to be honest. I think we were in bad shape no matter what. Can we kind of push it, push it back a little bit? I don't know if we're gonna have that ability. Hmm. My next best move is gonna be to push it to the side and this is where, where it kind of makes me a little bit nervous. Let me see if we can get up here and kind of push it this way. Let's try to, if we could swing that tongue around a little bit more, we might be able to get a good angle on it to get this, this thing around the trees. There we go, something like that will, will probably work a little bit better. All right, now we're just gonna have to get turned around. Looks like we got plenty of room. Dude, this thing is just a beast. She gets the job done and she's she's hurting big time right now. We're burning through fuel because we're so injured. But we're, we're definitely getting it done. All right, let me see if I line this up here. Attach, the, oh shoot, gotta be quicker than that, Trev. Attach the trailer. Let's see uh, let's see if we ride this outside line here. Let's see if we can make it around. Looks like we can. All right. Gonna wanna take this next corner wide as well. Dude, this thing is just, it, it's it's so big and, and ridiculous and just not, not fun in any way, shape or form. Taking a bit more damage, but we're okay. You guys think we're gonna be able to make it through this water with this thing? I hope so. I don't think I've ever damaged a truck this much, if you want me to be honest. Is she gonna make it? It's looking like she might, baby. Let's go. Oh, okay, okay. Be smart, Trev. Try to look around behind us. Kind of gets us gets us off course a little bit, but we're good. All right. I think we're definitely gonna run out of gas. We've done so much damage to our fuel tanks that they're I, they're probably just leaking all over the road at this point. So my goal is to uh, is to get this thing as close as we can. And, uh, or actually, you know what? There is a gas station right here. Please don't tell me it's stuck again. My, my guy is stuck again. All right, I, I think we're gonna have to employ this, the same strategy here. Grab some gas. Oh my God, dude, look at our tire. Are you kidding me? Our tire's actually flat. That's just great. All right, we should be able to give this thing a little nudge. Dude, where was this truck in that one mission where we were we were stuck? Do you guys remember it? We were stuck like down in the mud. 
Oh, this thing, it would have been an absolute, absolute lifesaver. Should be able to come back up around this way. The good news is, is we are kind of on our way to the, uh, we're kind of on our way to our garage. So if anything, once we pass the garage, we might be able to, to kind of, you know, stop in, get fixed up and continue on our mission. Dude, this is, this thing is barely holding on. <laughs> Bro, I love this truck and we just absolutely decimated it today. We're doing our best to absolutely annihilate the thing. And she's still she's still pushing through and getting the job done. You, you gotta love it. Gonna make sure we take all these turns wide here. Looking pretty good so far. Hope we took that one wide enough. Seems like we did. This is going to be our final major test here. This is, is a very, very tight corner with some pretty nasty, uh, nasty roadblocks in the way. I think we're going to be fine, though. I think if we do something like this, if we just take our time, we do better. Do this, back it up, and then straight down the road. That's going to be the ticket. That's what we should have done on the last the last corner that we kind of almost... Oh, shoot. we got to straighten this out a bit, I guess. No, we're good. Okay. Sweet. So that was, that was solid. Swinch our way through just to get us out of the snow. And yeah. Sometimes you, you got to make a little more effort in the turns than just trying to go to the outside. I think there were quite a few turns in this, in this objective that we could have done that for. So we're, we're just going to keep that in our back pocket for next time and make sure that we... Uh, we're smart about it. If we're back down under half a tank here. Starting to build up a little bit of speed. Good news is, is our truck is falling apart, so speed is, is not really that fast for us right now. Although, actually, you know what? It is kind of feeling a little bit fast. I think I might I might call the x nay on that. We're going to slow it down a little bit. Definitely want to stay to the very outside. We're going to have to go over some nasty rocks to do so oh shoot okay that's that's my fault can't run into the walls but we also i mean we, we can't really go anywhere else because we gotta like look look how close this is to the edge we don't want this to get stuck up on that guardrail so it kind of leaves us leaves us stuck between a rock and a hard place literally I'm gonna try to go around these big rocks here at least get our, our workhorse around them. We should be able to drag the trailer over them. Good work. Down to 72 liters in the tank. Gonna take this one a bit wide. Bit of a tight squeeze here, isn't it, mate? Oh, gosh, we made it. Whew. Okay. We're still going the right direction, correct? Yep, looking good to me. We're going to be going right by the garage, so we're going to be able to, to recover and, and respawn back out and, and have a, a fresh truck. Got a feeling it's going to it's gonna perform just a little bit better. Fresh tires, fresh engine, fresh everything. Absolute speed demon. Was going to use that winch point, but I don't even, I don't even think we need it. Beaut. Let's make sure we take this wide. We don't want to cut any corners. We've already invested so much time and effort into this. Pretty much destroyed a truck, retired a truck on this. And we wanna we wanna finish strong here. So we've got ooh. See dude, even little stuff like this is, is a bit sketchy. Gotta watch out for that stump. Let's take this straight. Gotta get inside the guardrail. Oh my gosh, we made it. Now we wanna take this angle wide. Gonna try to go really wide here. Do we have it? We're going to rub the walls of the tires a bit, but I think we might make it. I don't think we took that. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? We, we did not nearly take that one wide enough. That was, that was going to be a recipe for disaster right there. Try to bring this back. Dude, I, being a truck driver would be so stressful. Like I said, you always got to be thinking about the, 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 the next two or three turns. You can't react. You gotta be proactive the whole time. But we made it. Dude, can you imagine if we would have just dumped the thing right there? Or gotten it stuck on the guardrail? I would have been so upset. So we're gonna go past the uh 
little little facility here. We've got a bit of road left, and then I'm pretty sure there's just a bridge and then a left-hand turn. I'm pretty sure it's it's fairly clean from here on out. I'm going to turn our headlights on, and hopefully we're going to have a very successful ending to this episode. Hopefully nothing exciting, nothing scary. Our drop-off point just loaded up on the map. Is this it? That's not it. Nope. Nope. We want to go across the bridge. Hope you guys enjoy this. I know this was kind of one of the, the longer missions. Episode was fairly long, but I, I know this mission in particular was long. I just, I, I feel like something like this. Oh, we kind of cut that close. What just happened? Bro, I thought we were, I, I thought we were tipping. Um, but yeah, I feel like missions like this, like you can't really cut them down. You kind of want to see the full project. Like this, this was crazy. This, this is the craziest thing that we've embarked on yet. And low-key, I felt like it was fairly easy because of this BM-17. I don't think our Paystar could have come even close. I don't think our P-16 could have managed it because it's too big. I I, I, I I don't see... I mean, you know, maybe like a Russian truck or something. Like the next upgrade after this one. But I, I don't see any other vehicle that could have done this. I am uh, massively impressed with the way this guy is handled. Got just a little bit further straight and then a left. And we're gonna be able to call this a day, gents. Here we go. Coming down this hill pretty, pretty heavy. We're gonna be all right. Kinda seems like we're stuck on something. Nope, we're good, okay. We've taken some big trailers through here before. We know we kinda have to, have to hop the curb a bit. Kinda go in straight, take a left, come out straight. Helps us out quite a bit. All right. And then over here on the left is gonna be our final objective. But what do we do? We take our time, baby. If we gotta take a three-point turn, we take a three-point turn, but we don't even need it. Your boy's getting too used to it. Look at that. We'll take it, boys. BM-17 is an absolute monster. I love you. Mwah. We are going to use way more of her in the future. And uh, I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. I'm thinking, I think it's time to go to Russia. I'll see you guys there.